Hey guys, Kuzo back with another stream. Hopefully everyone's doing good. I'm gonna grab some links like always to shoot them up on the socials. All right, got the link, there we go. Going to the Instas. Post, and then the tweeter twatters. Paste, shot it out. Oh no, that was an ad. <laughs> A notification showed up. There we go. All right. Hopefully the links there were uh, correct. <laughs> Got some people rolling in now. Since I accidentally clicked on the video. Hopefully nothing <laughs> is messed up. Um, hey, what is up, Captain Nug? What's up? T.Y. Fine. What's up, Phoenix? What's up, No Fusion? What's up, Terry Terry? What's up? What is up, everyone? Come to him, Jake. See some new names here. get up my hey what is up everyone rolling in the blue winged one echoes echo echo was art <laughs> echo zart what's up melon fruit what's up hide yoshi what's up tear up what is up aubrey what is up x d gotta hop over to my script here real quick All right, there we go. At 35 people, good to see everyone rolling in. And panel five, all right. I'm trying to spill my coffee on everything. Sorry, I'm reading the script right now. What is up, everyone coming in? Where can I read your manga? There should be a link in the description. Um, I'll grab a link if I have to, if it's not, but I made sure I put it in the description uh, before I went live, so it should just be down there. But I'll, uh, and uh, if, like I said, if it's not, um, let me know. We'll, we'll figure it out and I could shoot it up here or something. All right. Maybe try for a few. Of making he is smirking. Uh, let me look at some of these. So I already did one up here. Looks like that. Oh, well, let's uh, let's kind of test out. Hello, hello, people. Forty-two people in here. Good to see everyone. And I'll actually kind of go ahead and I, I'll, uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. So this is voice me. Um, this is where we're going to be. This is where you can go read it. And uh, it's going to be down here. You can also just search it up. If it doesn't show up, just search up Madgate. This is it right here. If it'll click on it. And voila. We already got a prologue, two chapters, and a teaser. So you guys got all that to go through. If you haven't already gone through it so yeah fun stuff fun stuff I like this panel this panels cool uh, the whole prologue um Sean uh, drew this uh, or, or uh, I, I I drew an ink inked it but the she uh, colored it so the whole first part she colored. Okay, let's just get to some drawing here. 
you're writing a book that's like an anime thing. That's cool. I finally caught one of your streams again. I've missed almost all of them. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Just playing. Gotta go up. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Let's see if I can get this. Um, I also have a weird spot on my screen here. I have no idea where that came from. Uh, very strange. Very strange. That is not what I normally use. I think I use this one. Yeah. You just did a coloring trial for this? That's cool. That's cool. Alright. Um... I, I remember what I wanted to do for this panel, but I... Let me think. So, this character is supposed to be holding some cards and tilting up a hat. There's so many options that you can do for something like this, and I'm trying to think about a cool way to do it. a little higher and actually make it look like seven people in here. Good to see everyone. It's funny how Kuzo still chooses to use that gloves till date. I mean, I don't under, I don't really see why I should like change my glove. I don't know. It gets the work done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't wait for Maggate though. If you're talking about Maggate as in like the next chapter, it's already out. I don't know if you know that, uh, but <laughs> yeah, it's out already. There's a, a prologue and two chapters and a teaser. Uh, so basically, you said you should have him hold the cards like uh, Kaiba. So essentially, what I, I mean, I don't want to give you guys any teasers, but... Um, or any like spoilers or anything, but this is the manga or webcomic. No, an ad. Oh gosh. <laughs> I need to like turn down the volume on this just in case. I don't want to get like copyright strict for like some ad. Okay, I'll go here and just so there's no like spoilers for those who want to. Go ahead and read it, who haven't. I am going to show you guys one panel. Yeah, it took that long for me to scroll all the way down to the bottom. The second chapter is massive. Okay. So, there you go. This is already what I did for the hand. Yo, where can I read it? You can read it at Voice Me. Uh, just like this, it's literally voice.me, and you can go there. They also have an app. But yeah, this is uh, what I did originally. 
56 people in here. Good to see everybody. And so I'm trying to uh, find a way to kind of do it similar to that. Which iPad Pro is that? This is the 2017 model, uh, 12.9, 256 gig. So the one that I normally use is the 2021 model, though. Okay. Um. Can you put the link to the manga in the chat? Um, yeah, I can try to do that for you. Uh, let's hop over to Chrome here. I mean, like I said, it should be in the description of, of this live stream. There you go. That's the manga. Uh, have you seen the jump right video? Yu-Gi-Oh manga ka drawing Kaiba. His pencil so dark. No, I I haven't. That'd be cool. Man, I'm doing very bad right now uh, with time. Uh, honestly, I just kind of need to think of the pose, and then everything goes a little bit smoother from there. He's not even gonna be that big on the panel. I was gonna make him smaller than that. to be cool. We haven't we've pretty much done nothing since I started. Because I restarted my manga, I'm working on my anatomy and perspective. I've come up with new art style every now and then. I put the new art style in my manga, but I, I'm a few pages in. Is that okay? Uh, I mean, 
Uh, I, yeah, it's fine. I mean, the truth is you're probably going to become so much better within like a few chapters that you're going to want to like restart anyways. Like when you're in the stages of like massive growth, there's not much you can really do about it unless you want to sit around and not do anything. That's the hardest part. Like you're, you're going to get better and you're going to look back on it and be like, oh gosh. <laughs> All right, let's see if I could just at least start off with like a perspective. You know? What's funny is I actually came up with a, a pose earlier in my head for this and I kind of forgot it. Glad, glad to see you back at Kuzo. Well, thank you very much, young, young, young Wavy, the artist. Good to see you in here. <laughs> hey, I love the face cam, my guy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Nah, I almost thought about having him tilt up his hat with his pinky. And then I thought about it and I was like, meh, let's not do that. By the way, I'm, I'm keeping some of stuff here a little bit like uh, whited out at the top. I've been uh, keeping, I've been, you guys have been seeing some stuff, but I've been keeping spoilers away from, you guys will see. I've been keeping quite a, quite a bit of spoilers away from everybody, so. Let's fit it with the uh, with the tev. I think I'm getting closer to what I want. trying to get I know I keep on saying I'm trying to get something that isn't so standard but cool it still feels normal at least that type of feel
Uh, <laughs> like the video where else you shall? Yes, like the video. Luigi. Hey, Cruiser, what pen do you use to sketch right now? I'm using the rough pencil. It's that you can actually see it right up here. And it's one of the default pencils. I think I've changed the settings like a little bit, but uh, not too much. I mean, I could always legitimately go with this. I know this is probably like, what in the crap right now? All right, we're on the right track now. Now, <laughs> now we're doing a little better. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem like much here, but uh, definitely on the right track now. I keep on forgetting. You know what? Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll go here. I could always just go on there with my phone, but I'm just going to do this just so I remember exactly what it looks like. If you guys are wondering why I'm uh, I'm, I'm a little slow today, it's because I, uh, I was going to... So I stayed up all night last night. I uh, went to bed at like 8 in the morning. And... Uh, What the heck? No. Oh my gosh, I do this on the wrong layer. Um.
but yeah, I stayed up all, la- all night last night doing some recording stuff um, and, and some pages. And uh, I went to upload the video. I, 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 I was, I stayed up until, no, it was about like 9.30 in the morning I went to bed. And I was going to upload the video at like 11. Uh, and I went, I was going to go to bed and try to like set an alarm to wake up at 11. But I ended up going to bed and only sleeping for like an hour and a half or two. And then I just stayed up. <laughs> Once I uploaded the video, I was just like, oh, well. <laughs> so I'm kind of, I'm kind of out of it. Um, hey, Kuz, any tips for Pose? I have a hard time coming up with some. Uh, well, that's just, you're going to have to go ahead and try to, like, learn, like, gesture and stuff like that. And uh, gesture will also help you, like, some of the with some of the balance things. Like, me trying to come up with this specific pose, I was trying to get a nice balance and uh, specific ways of his body moving for his character. Honestly, I ended up going a little bit more generic than I wanted to. It's not necessarily generic with the pose that I did here, but it was something I've already done. And that's what... Yeah, I, I, I kind of wanted to stay away from that, but... But yeah, you're gonna want to learn gesture and at least anatomy and stuff like that, and kind of know what you're going for. And you're eventually gonna be able to think of poses, you know, just straight out of your head. But you're gonna want to take a lot of reference in at first. Um, sometimes you can build up. Here's one thing: when you're just also trying to learn, uh, just to get the wheels turning, you can build up a pose where you take like two or three different poses, and you kind of like look at them and and uh, pull inspiration from them and uh, at the end of it you basically have your own drawing um, I've done that when I was really uh, in some like dry spills of really needing some inspiration but I've never like had it close to like any of the any of the things I have it's like having uh, let's say a pose like this this is the general, the general pose of like a girl sitting, you know, like this, and then her knees, their feet, and she's sitting like this, you know, and then we see some other pose or something else, and we decide to go a different route where maybe we, uh, I don't know, move a leg up. like this instead, change the arms, and maybe the direction to something like maybe something like this. She's doing this and like, I don't know, a butterfly is coming down or something. I don't know. Basically, that's what I'm, what, what I'm talking about. You can gain inspiration from other poses and kind of make your own pose out of it. When it was initially just a sitting pose, but we changed quite a bit about it. And we even changed like what was going on. So that's what I mean when, I'm, when I was talking about that stuff. But I do have to say that there is a big handicap there that if you focus, if you do that too often and don't try to eventually like think of poses on your own, it's going to become a handicap and a crutch. By the way, I want people to be completely aware that I am, uh, know that I am completely aware that the these cards, technically, it's physically impossible for them to be held like this. <laughs> 
I mean, it, I guess it could be done if you did it right, but uh, it's really not accurate. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Hey Kuzo, been developing my art style and I've been really getting inspiration uh, I've been really getting inspiration from you and know my art looks like your can I change that um, yeah it you can change your art style no matter what typically most people start off with the base of someone who they uh, like and they try to copy uh, their style um, and uh, it's up to you how close you want to get to that person's style but you always eventually end up branching up well there are some people who don't <laughs> but if you try uh, you'll you'll eventually branch off it's just a base you normally start with mine was Kishimoto Kishimoto was my biggest base Hmm. I almost forgot one of the biggest features to my own character. Not biggest, but I like the feature. His head's a bit small. Or is the hand a bit big? This is a horrible session.
Eh, nah, I want that pink hip. Yeah. Uh-oh. My dog might be trying to bark. What is up, guys? 74 people in here. Good to see everyone. Hey, what's up, Hello Head Creations? Good to see you in here. Shaman King and Inuyasha style head was my base. Yeah. Those are both good, good ones. I just woke, woke up. <laughs> well, good waking up time. Because I don't know if it's morning for you or not, but... <laughs> How do you uh, transition from drawing strictly from reference to drawing from imagination? Couple things. One, you can learn how to draw those strictly references without looking at them. That's one way. In order to be able to draw something completely fresh and different that you technically have never drawn before, you have to learn the fundamentals in order to be able to put one two and two together and figure out the middle piece. So basically what I'm trying to say is if you had an arm that's going this way, this is your normal arm here, that, that, that. This is the part that I'm drawing right here, right here. Uh, if you have an arm that's going this way, and, but you also had an arm that's going this way, if you know how to draw cylinders and stuff, what's the arm in the middle without taking reference. If you know perspective and form, you're going to do something roughly like this. So that is essentially the short form of what you're getting around to. You have to know one the fundamentals to be able to create these new forms that or these new uh, poses that you've never done. And you also have to uh, go ahead and like do those studies to get to that point as well. Got to put in the work. Moving so slow, brain failing me. Don't understand perspective anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to finish this specific panel with you guys only because I don't, I, it's not necessarily a spoiler, but I want to, for now, uh, keep this character unfinished in front of you guys. Now, those of you who've been around since the beginning of the stream, you can see the progression of this pose here where I was having a hard time earlier and I eventually, I eventually got it. I didn't know, I knew kind of what I wanted. I didn't know the exact pose. I didn't know how I wanted the, the flow to go. And I felt, honestly, in the beginning of the stream, I kind of felt pressure to try to get it done faster and that actually made it worse because it made me kind of choke and I was like oh crap oh crap uh, what am I supposed to do and then I couldn't think and I wasn't giving myself like just all I would have needed is like a minute or two of silence to really try to work it out instead I tried to rush it and uh, 
like for example this pose i feel like it could probably be about 40 percent better maybe 30 percent better than what it is right now but comics manga it's all about quality versus time so not everything can be perfect perfecto but we can get darn near close in fact i think this might be too big okay i don't know if we can get close to perfection that perfection is <laughs> Uh, it's a different level. Still need to read your manga, and I already love this character. <laughs> well, definitely go check it out. There's quite a few chapters, so... Oh, I accidentally hit my camera up there. Oops. there we go that's what I'm gonna do for this for now um, and we can move on to a different page so and I can do this uh, finish this up later I believe there's supposed to be a bubble over here All right, 104 people in here. Good to see everybody. Uh, where can I find the manga? You can find it. I should have actually have the link here still. The link should be in the description, but here is the link for people who want to go see it. Don't leave my stream. Okay. Is this Clip Studio on iPad? Yes, it is. What's the name? Madgate. Published with VoiceMe. Okay, um...
feel like this character is slowly gonna grow into uh, his own kind of feel the more I draw him. He's already grown much more than the first time I've drawn him. Much more. Sorry, I just heard a sound. There's no one in my apartment. <laughs> there should not be. <laughs> Two choices here. To go this route. Uh, got 106 people in here. Good to see everyone. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot this was alive. Oh, really? <laughs> Hey Kuzo, I know this is an odd question, but what's a good tip about drawing legs that you think would help? Um, legs are like... It's almost like if you were to take a tube like this and this is a thigh, and you also bring in another part. It's like adding on two little chunks onto the side, and then we add a little thing here, and then we put another tube down, and we add in one other one, but one bigger one that's a little bit more, it's a little higher up, like this, and we go down, and then we got a knob, another knob, and then a foot, toe. That's kind of how I look at it. It's kind of how it is from the front. I used to look at legs like this, where I would, I would have the leg go in like this, this big knobby part, we pull out like that, pull in like this, and uh, that's another way to kind of think about it as well. Hey, what's up, Christian? How to draw heads in perspective. I'm trying to draw reference sheets, but I can't do it. Um, I don't think uh, in this specific moment I would go over that. I mean, the, the, I, okay, so basically what I mean is I have a video that actually breaks down that whole thing, how to draw heads in perspective, and it's using a box method, and it's what I would technically show you here, but the video breaks it down much better than I would do right now. But essentially, it's just, if you know how to, I say box, but it's like a rectangular prism. It's type of cubish thing. Um, but a cube is more like whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, you end up learning how to break down this box into a then simplified version of a skull, whatnot. And if you can break it down into a simplified version of a skull, from the box, and you can draw that box in any perspective, you now technically know how to draw a head in any perspective, essentially. So if we were to take that and then go over it, when you actually learn this stuff, you learn that this is the nose ridge that goes onto the, that part there, and then the rest of the nose is actually just cartilage. Cartilage? <laughs> cartilage and then you have the uh, the eyebrow area here which is uh, let's do the form eyebrow we're gonna go in like that and then cheekbone we go in so we know that this is the inside part here the nose ridge the eyes are gonna be over here here then we got the indent because of the cheekbone now, here, because there is a skull, there's no like muscle or meat there. So it's gonna pull down over that. But that's the whole point of learning uh, uh, basic anatomy stuff. 
like that's not like super complicated to understand oh there's muscle there compared to when the skull that's why so and so you know stuff like that I'm actually gonna be doing a three-fourths view uh, a whole three-fourths view video on how to draw three-fourths head view Yeah, I think maybe I'll go with that. Uh, I might pull it down a little bit, though. But I don't want it touching the hand. Hmm. Yeah, that should be fine. Honestly, I'm really tired, but... I should be trying to use my brain a little bit more. I'm kind of just going with the flow. You know when you get so tired, you're kind of just like... <laughs> 117 people in here. Good to see everyone. Uh, yo, you said you wouldn't break it down though. I I didn't really, but I broke it down like really fast. The other one gives you um, it gives you really block and like rudimentary shapes, and I didn't really go over those here. Like if you were to go based off of that, uh, depending on what level you are, that might actually just be <laughs> kind of hard at first. The iPad's at 38%. I'm gonna have to plug it in soon. I might, okay, I'm gonna bring this and I'm actually gonna bring this up a little further. One thing that I kinda wanna start doing um, in my series is not just my series, but the series. I'm just calling it my series. It, it's not all mine, obviously, as you guys know. For any of you who watched my most recent video, uh, but yeah, there's it's our it's a team. But um, the series is I want to uh, have a little bit more variety to panel size because uh, a, a lot of my panels, you'll notice that I do a lot of long panels. And a lot of panels end up being somewhat of the same size, so I kinda wanna get a different uh, size variety as well. It's not all like that. It's just something I wanna experiment with. I could go and do what I was doing just fine and it would be fine, but it's the whole point of growing, growing. This is something I need to stop doing. I need to uh, I need to get back in the habit of not having to turn my canvas. So um, there's a point where I built up my draftsmanship to a point where I didn't have to turn my canvas, um, and I learned how to draw lines like in any really any direction I really wanted. Uh, see, I need a, there we go. That's what I need to start doing. I need to start being more conscious of that. Cause that's gonna up my draftsmanship. There's people who uh, get really good at doing like lines in a very specific amount of directions. And then what they do is they turn their canvas and do stuff like this. You know, they do that. Instead, I would like to be able to do hatch marks going this way, this way, which by the way is kind of hard. Going away is way harder than going towards when it comes to hatch marks, but I want to learn how to do that again. Oop, see? Now, draftsmanship is basically training yourself to get the line to go 
the direction you're really trying to get it to go. And it's a lot of practice like that. Fair enough. Uh, was it hard to swipe from manga to web? Oh, switch from... It does say swip, but I know what you mean. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it was different, but I wouldn't say it was hard. How did you do that? Do what? Is it my hands or something? It smells like onions over here. I mean, I had onions on, on sandwich I had earlier. Don't judge me if you don't like onions. I like onions, all right? <laughs> I thought it was my hands or something that smell like onions, but it's not. What is it? It's one of you guys, I know it is. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's keep this in perspective here. Quite literally. And uh, just also in our mind remembering well, what direction are we going here? Let's grab this. Oh, let's grab this. Uh, let's say, what are we actually doing here? A lot of the time when you get lost with something, it's because you're letting yourself kind of, you're, you're letting yourself get lost. Uh, I'm letting myself get lost right now instead of purposefully going for something. I kind of got two things, the head and the and the hand. And then from there I just started being like And that wasn't working very well. Now was it? Now I have to figure out what I want to do here. Uh, I think I actually want to take this panel, this guy. And I think I want to make him a bit smaller. What's it going to look like? Compared to that? Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll make him a bit smaller. Keep him like this. And then what I'm going to do is pull this a little further forward. And then I'm going to pull this further forward because what I want what I'm trying to avoid is these two hands touching here because it makes it it just looks weird you, you, I, you don't really want that you want there to be uh, or at least I want there to be a noticeable difference um, in them not touching and then I go and draw it closer <laughs> oh 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 I need to buy some new uh, iPad, uh, Apple Pencil uh, nibs. Oh yeah, I forgot. I keep on forgetting about these. You know, one of the things that used to be really hard for me was figuring out how to do like these motions. <laughs> hey, what's up, trades, tradesmen, Jags with the super chat? Thank you very much. I really appreciate. Like always, um, he says making concepts, concept art for the next video game my brothers and I are making. Good luck with your manga. Well, good luck with your concept arts with you and your brother. Or, yeah, you and your brother. Brothers, more than one. <laughs> but yeah, good luck with the concepts, man. That's awesome. And uh, thank you for the wishes of good luck on my endeavors as well. And thanks again for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Like always. Uh, 
you don't appreciate them, what's wrong with you? Jeez. You savages that wouldn't appreciate one. Straight savage. Ah, uh, yeah, that's good. I'm also not going to finish this one either. Because, like I said, I don't really want to finish him for you guys. <laughs> yeah. After uh, next chapter, I can start finishing him on streams and stuff. Uh, Yokuza just read The Mad Gate. You're going to do big things, man. Keep it up. Thank you very much, Jared. Con. Con. Uh, but thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Oh, I accidentally hit the thing. Hopefully we do do, we do do, <laughs> we do do big things. Um, I need to go ahead and, oh, okay, eight, nine, okay. Hey Kuzo, can you show me how you draw value? I would suggest to look up a YouTube video for that. Um, but I mean, values are just different shades of gray, essentially. It's like dark. Lighter. 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 <laughs> It, it would be easier if it wasn't a pencil, but I was kind of doing it like a hatch version. But yeah, I would definitely suggest to look it up on um, on YouTube. That's actually where I learned value. I don't even know it all the way. I knew it better uh, a few years ago. I, I haven't really done any value studies as recent. And man, you would not believe the amount of people uh, saying that character looks like this character, but with that and then this, I'm like, what? <laughs> what? There was one person that said that, that character looks exactly like blah, blah, blah with, uh, big eyes, but with big eyes. And, I, and someone else had said the character's name too. I think it starts with an N Nafuma. I don't know. I I ended up going and looking up the character because two people said it, and I was like, because I didn't know who it was. Turns out it was the person from Shield Hero. I, I've never watched Shield Hero. <laughs> I drew, I think I drew a sketch of it back when it was popular, but I never actually watched Shield Hero.
has it been too much of that back and forth? Also, make sure to make sure to follow the series on on uh, Voice Me, so that way you get like, especially if, if you have the app, it'll probably send you notifications when it uh, goes live. And like the chapters, like the chapters, it helps the engagement on there, and uh, that type of stuff is what um, will let the series get more chapters or not. You know, in the long run just like any series if it's not getting engagement why would someone keep a series around that's not getting engagement so somewhat soon I've got to kind of uh, focus and get some some pages out for some coloring today because do you have your own imaginary world uh, no <laughs> I don't I feel like I used to think like that but I, I, I kind of lost that uh, it feels like the older you get the less imagination you kind of have and it's almost like you have to force yourself to think more like when you were younger again and it's possible to get into that state and it's like a creative state um it's harder the older you get but um it's possible uh I challenge you to think of your own world and draw what's in your head. What, what do you think creating like a manga is? That's essentially what, uh, yeah. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Uh, are you just sketching up the layout? Do you always sketch this detailed? Um, yes and no. <laughs> uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, since I actually... Oh, dang it, I don't have the chapter. I deleted all the chapters I had on here. So I can't show you. <laughs> I can't show you. Uh, maybe next time or something like that. But uh, there's times where I, I ink from something extremely um, loose. There's times where I ink from something that's way tighter. And right now, I'm just having a hard time uh, flushing out the ideas a little bit, just because of lack of sleep and stuff, but yeah. Lack of sleep and streams always... Notice I'm doing a bunch of lines. Instead of thinking about what I'm doing and doing less lines, I just keep on doing the wrong lines and going over and over again. What I need to do is not that. <laughs> I need to be aware of what I'm doing here. There we go. This is a better start.
Okay, let's actually not do that. I'm gonna create the actual folder. Um, ink. Ooh. <laughs> that turned into something else entirely. There we go. And, uh... Oh, there it is. Is it on 14? Okay, cool. Oh, what the? Okay, almost did that wrong. Boom! Kuzo, what is the marker name you use? And tell me if it's good. If it was horrible, I wouldn't be using it. <laughs> If you're talking about the thing I'm sketching with, it's called Rough Pencil. It's right up here. Is there any way for you to show your pen settings? Because I really like the way your pen looks. If you're talking about this pen. This is them right here. Should be able to see them just fine. These are my pen settings. And it's the mapping pen, but you could do this exact same thing with the G pen. It's they're basically the same thing. What software is this? It's a uh, Clip Studio on the iPad.
I could have sworn I saw saw something that was super interesting in one of my toolbar things. I thought I saw something that said it was like a mesh tool, and I was like, what? Or it was a liquify. I was like, what the heck? I was on my other one. I'll have to check it there. I was like, what the heck? They have liquify on here? Liquify is uh, primarily useful for when uh, you're doing, when you're painting. Interesting. Peculiar. Hm. Ninety-nine people in here. Good to see everybody. You love Procreate's fill tool. That's what reason why I left Procreate. I didn't like their fill tool. <laughs> One thing I do like is you can grab the color and and bring it over. I think that's cool. Other than that, the fill tool on here is superior by miles. In my in my personal correct opinion <laughs> Oh, smudge, that's what it was. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's crazy. What? <laughs> Hold the freaking phone. No. No, bro. What? What? Okay, I don't think you understand how useful this is for specific effects. Um, especially like for the colorists, this is actually a, a really uh, good effect. I actually think I see why I have to get the charger. I think I see what some of, maybe some of the colorists I've seen use some effects. I'm wondering if they ever used any of these. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> the heck? I mean, not practical, but... But yeah, what I mean by that is, uh, it could... If, it, if something's colored, you could probably pull certain things and, like, twist certain things. I don't know. It could be useful in specific scenarios. Oh, dang, no, that's cool. Hmm. 
Wow, that's gonna help with some of my paintings on here. That's one of the things in Procreate that I, I missed from over here. Was, uh, was that? The, uh, their quick shape feature is something I miss as well. That, that was pretty cool. It's a little gimmicky, but it's still cool for like certain shapes, like, uh, definitely circles. Circles are a, are, are a big one that you can just quickly do in Procreate. It's nice. This is definitely a super chill stream. Ooh. There's a bit of lag going on. I don't know why it's been doing that. I don't know if it's my computer, or if it's YouTube, or if it's OBS. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Oh, excuse me. I know my OBS has to be updated. I'm wondering if that has something to do with it. I've avoid updating it because every time I've updated stuff, it always wrecks something. Something always gets destroyed. And it's super frustrating. In fact, my Clip Studio doesn't work on my uh, computer anymore. I have uninstalled it. I have reinstalled it. I've tried everything I could. Uh, there's obviously an answer out there somewhere, but uh, yeah, it doesn't work on my computer no more. So everything I'm doing is on my iPad. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, guys. Guys. Dude. Who? Okay, that Webtoons thing that came out with the Webtoons competition, who called it? Who said, I didn't say that specifically Webtoons was going to do it, but, but what I was saying was um, the market's there, and that's the one thing that's been missing in the webcomic scene, like, heavily uh, with a big player, and uh, guess what happened? They, they knew it now. They knew it, man. <laughs> they, they realized it. Nice hair, man. Thank you. Uh, I actually was thinking about cutting my hair. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's just been like this too long. I threw my hair out to have my hair long, and I don't even try to enjoy it long. I always have it up because it's so annoying to have down. <laughs> uh, I'm just not a super long hair guy anymore. As I'm over here with super long hair. It's just uh, too much maintenance, to be honest. Man, it's really pixeling up. Oof. I don't know. I might have to end this stream pretty soon. I don't know why it's doing that. So odd. I might have to update something. How to improve in hand drawing. I don't know if that would be the best thing to do right now with how pixely things are getting. <laughs> uh, but this is the basic idea. I'm just going to wedge, another wedge, 
You have to look at the finger sizes compared to each other. This is a really simple version. It's very simple, but it's valid. Ha! <laughs> I wonder what could be making my computer run like this. This is crazy. Oh. It says excellent connection. It might be my OBS, to be honest. Hmm. I mean, it's doing fine now. My computer fans are on. And computer's like, I'm getting hot, dude. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Help me for the love of God. I'm starting to stall. 6.59. And I also got to go somewhere soonish, so... Should be dipping out. That button is absolutely massive. The stream is fine now. Yeah, it goes back and forth. It's kind of strange. Who's it? Or stop streaming, and the next time you stream, the live might not be so glitchy. Well, it happened last time I streamed too towards the end of my stream. It was strange. Never really happened before. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, here, here's what's happening. This is why I actually I think it's, I don't think it's YouTube, I think it's OBS, because when it does happen, it happens on OBS. It doesn't happen on, it does, like for example, it doesn't, it, do you see how crazy it's getting? So what's happening is, it's starting on OBS, then it's going to YouTube, which means it's not YouTube's problem, it's OBS's problem. Because if it was YouTube's problem, it would look great on OBS, and then it would go to YouTube, then it would look like monkey butt. So, we we figured it out. It's OBS. Which, it's kind of annoying. Hello, says Miguel. Uh, what page dimensions are you using? Uh, I am using page dimensions of 2,400 by 18,000. So, it's very long. <laughs> but, in any case, I think I'm going to be ending the stream. Things are getting a little glitchy. Um, hopefully we can figure that out for next time, so it doesn't do that. But, yeah, I'm going to be doing more stuff. Definitely make sure to check out uh, Madgate after this. If you haven't, a uh, link should be in the description. But in any case, hopefully you guys look forward to more videos and stuff like that on Instagram, TikTok, my main channel, and this channel. Some shorts, too. But, yeah, in any case, hopefully you have a good day or night, wherever you are. I'm going to be peacing out.